It's an absolutely beautiful spring day outside, but I'm in here to give you the goods on the new new at Walmart fashion for spring 2024. I have an overflowing box full of fun goodies to share with you. Make sure if you're interested in anything in today's video, you head to the description box where I'll have everything linked in the order that it appears. And then you'll also see the products pop up right here in the corner. So you can shop that way as well. But all of the accessories and the things that get styled with each one of the Walmart items will be linked old school down in the description box. Let's get into it. This first dress I think is so chic and it just looks so sophisticated for something from Walmart. And I really think this is such a beautiful dress that you could wear for years to come, but it is from the brand Scoop, which if you know me, then you know that that's my favorite in-house Walmart brand. I always just find that Scoop makes the best, like on-trend, um, well-made pieces at Walmart. This is this really beautiful crossover halter neck sundress and the fabric I want to say is like some sort of cotton blend. It feels really nice and lightweight. It does have um, a lining underneath so that you can make sure that it's not too sheer and it's a really great midi length dress. I am 5'7", just for your reference, and you can find all of my sizing information down in the description box if you uh, would like to know that for your own reference. I accidentally somehow got this in an extra small. There's either something wrong with me or there's something wrong with the Walmart web website, but every single time I make an order on Walmart, at least one thing comes in the wrong size that I know that I did not order. So I don't know if it's like some sort of user error that's happening to me where I'm hitting like the wrong size at the last second or something. Um, but this is in an extra small. Typically I would have ordered a small and I did get it on. It's zipped. It feels good. It feels like it fits really nicely in the waist area. And I was almost about to be like, wow, I guess I can wear this extra small and keep it. But you'll notice in the back uh, where it has these little buttons to um, do up the little halter top. If I was to button them, I would basically be choking myself. Uh, it would be very tight. So I definitely would want a small in this, but just to know, like if they do run out of your size and they have the size down and you think you might be able to fit into it. I mean, I've never really ever been able to fit into extra small anything. So I think it does maybe run a little bit slightly big. And if you have to get the next size up, I also don't think that would be the end of the world because it does have this little belt that comes with the dress that you could cinch the waist to your own frame. So even if it is a little bit on the baggier side, uh, this little belt can help you kind of um, customize the fit so that it fits you perfectly. I also am totally a fan of taking these little belts off and just using my own belts. Like I feel like a, a black wide belt would look so chic with this. I just didn't happen to do that today. I think this is so beautiful. It shows off the shoulders really nicely and it is a nice lightweight fabric for spring. Styling it with some fun accessories. I at first thought I would wear it with this little black wicker bag, but then I just felt like the look was like a little bit too simple. So to kind of mix it up, I grabbed this, which also has black and white in it, but it has these like pops of red and turquoise, which unfortunately I bought this years and years ago. So this is no longer something that I can link, but I, can, I will link this brand, which they're a brand based out of uh, Florence, Italy. Such a cool handbag brand. Thought that the graphic nature of this bag with the color looked really cool with the black and white stripes of this bag. So some way to just give you a little inspo to add maybe some visual interest to a look when maybe you feel like it's a little bit too simple. Having a fun statement bag to throw in the mix can be a great thing to do. Taking things a little bit more casual. I love a utility jumpsuit. I just think they're such a cute piece to have in your wardrobe because they're comfortable, they're easy to wear, and they just are super fun. And this one is in olive green, so it just has that like quintessential military kind of look to it, which I really love. This jumpsuit is from the brand Free Assembly, which I have to say is probably my second favorite Walmart brand. Um, and they really do have some great, like more classic style pieces that are always well made as well. I got this in a small and it fits perfectly. It has some stretch to it, which is really nice. It feels very um, forgiving, but I kind of wish I would have gotten a medium just because I feel like the style of a utility jumpsuit or a boiler suit, whatever you want to call it, needs to be a little bit more on the loose side, in my opinion, to sort of get the right look because it is kind of like a men's work outfit, if you will. Like when I think of these, I think of guys in World War II, like working on airplanes or like a mechanic working on a car. 
So you want it to kind of have a little bit more of a looser fit so that it's not like so body conscious. And I find that uh, the small for me personally fits kind of tight through my booty and my hips. Whereas a medium, just one size up would have had a little bit more give. And again, like the last dress, it has this belt that comes with it. So even if it does feel like it's a little bit loose in your waist, you can always customize the fit with the belt to sort of cinch it in at your waist to make it a little bit more flattering. And then it can be a little bit baggier in the other areas where it's better for it to be baggy. The back is also really nice. It's very uh, elastic and stretchy, so it, it definitely feels very forgiving in the waist area, which is always great because if you eat a big meal or something, <laughs> the last thing you want is to be wearing a jumpsuit where you can't loosen anything. So just a little something to note there. It's also kind of cropped, which is fun. I, I think you could totally wear this casually with sneakers, with sandals, um, but I chose to kind of go the opposite direction and pair it with these fun, chunky loafer mule type heels that I have just to give it a different vibe. Because I like it, like I said, this piece feels very like working man. And I think to juxtapose that, it's kind of cool to throw on a more funky or fun heel to give it a little bit of a different flavor. You can't go wrong with a solid pair of utility shorts. And I found these on Walmart and ended up getting them in a size bigger than what I would normally wear. So I got them in a size eight. So they're a little bit loose in the waist, but it is absolutely a-okay to order your shorts a size bigger than your regular pants. I know, I've been doing this for years, mostly instinctively, because I have found that when I order shorts in my actual pant size, the bottom portion of the shorts tends to be too tight on my upper thigh, and it just feels real uncomfortable. But if you buy them a little bit bigger, it just gives you that little extra give that you need in the leg, especially if you have thicker thighs like I do. If you have more of like slim legs, you probably don't necessarily need to go by this rule, but I've just found it to be a really useful thing to do to make my shorts more comfortable and more wearable. I love the little utility aspect of these too. They've got this little pocket that has this fun detailing on it. Um, and then they're just really comfortable. They've got a little cuff going on on the bottom. Um, the waist has a little bit of elastic to it, so they are also very forgiving. And I just think this is a great little staple piece to have in your spring and summer wardrobe that can just go with so many things. Now, uh, like the utility jumpsuit, I kind of wanted to take the utility vibe of these shorts in a more dressy direction and sort of like contrast that with some dressier pieces. So I paired it with this gorgeous blouse that I just got from H&M, which is completely sold out online. I had to hunt for it in my local H&Ms and I found it. So I'll put the link in the description box in case they restock it. You should get on the notify me list if you love it. Have to shout out the little heels that I'm wearing because they are also from Walmart. These heels, I mean, how fun are these for spring? These are from Scoop and they're these fun sort of like strappy lace up little stiletto heeled sandal, but they have this little silk flower that is attached to the strap, which I think is such a fun accent to your shoe. This shoe definitely comes in some other colors. However, the light pink is the only version for whatever reason that has the little flower attached to it. I don't know why, but it's adorable. Um, I think these are gonna be so fun for so many different feminine outfits for spring. And I'm very surprised because I've been having definitely some foot issues lately and it turns out I have arthritis in my right foot, which really sucks. So wearing heels that are like higher, I just, it hurts like autumn. My foot just hurts the second that I even just put my foot in the position of a high heel, much less stand on it. So I just can't do it as much anymore, which sucks. But for whatever reason, these, they look like a heel that I would be crying, but they somehow seem so comfortable. I really don't know how, but... They're super wearable in my opinion. I also find that the bed of the shoe is got a little bit of like cushion to it. So that could probably helps contribute to it as well. And I also really think that the straps are nice and like grippy enough to wear when you do lace them up your ankle, they don't constantly fall down. That's like my one gripe about all of these like little lace up shoes is they're cute in theory, but sometimes the material that they use is a little bit too slick. And so, even if you tie it like super tight on your ankle, they still somehow just slide down. But these are really nice and sticky, so they really feel like they stay in place and they don't move, which I really, really appreciate. But this shoe, I think, just really falls into the whole like fun ballet core trend that's been really big lately. And I have a whole video that I'm working on just dedicated to ballet core and how to wear it, where to find pieces to rock the trend. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe.
want to mention the belt that I'm wearing because I know some of you all really love yourself a good designer inspired find. Um, and I'm also going to tease another future video that's coming up very soon. That is my Amazon designer inspired finds video. Um, I do one every once in a while, but this belt is so affordable. I got it on Amazon, not Walmart, but it is so similar to the Hermes, I believe the Cali belt. It's very minimal, it's chic, and I love that it's fully adjustable in the back. So you just adjust the back of it to whatever you need it to be, and you can wear it on your waist, you can wear it on your hips, it's so adjustable. So that feature alone just sold me. Um, but I will link this down in the description box, and also I will encourage you to subscribe again so that you don't miss out on that full video with all my designer-inspired Amazon finds when it goes up. By the way, hi, if you're new here, just wanna introduce myself really quickly. My name is Jessica. I make videos about affordable fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel. So if you are interested in living your most chic and fabulous life without breaking the bank, because don't we all, please hit that red subscribe button if you'd like to see more from me. And you can also ding the notification bell so that you never miss out on one of my future uploads. And then if you want to find me over on any of my other social media platforms, they will all be linked down in the description box, but Instagram and TikTok is where you can really find me the most. All right, let's get back into this video. This dress I feel like is so chic and very like Parisian vibes. Um, it definitely is right in keeping with the first dress in this haul. If you're looking for something like chic and sophisticated to add to your wardrobe for the spring, but this is a dress from the brand Scoop and it's in this sort of like mixed media two-tone dress. The top is this black cotton, but like spandex blend of fabric um, where it looks like it's a strapless breath a strapless dress but if you turn around you can see that it goes up your back and around your neck and then there's this little sash thing that comes out of it to make it look like it's tied around your neck even though it kind of isn't but this fabric definitely has some good stretch um, unlike the dress that I got in the extra small with this one in the small the tightness around my neck for this feels like the right amount it is a little bit snug but like I said, the fabric has stretched, so it doesn't feel like too constricting. And then it is strapless, but the top has one of these little um, like sticky liner things on the top to sort of help it stick to your skin and stay up a little bit better. And then the skirt is this beautiful cottony fabric that just feels very lightweight and breezy. It is double lined again. So with it being white, that really helps for it to not be too sheer. This is so beautiful and just, it's very simple, but it's very elegant at the same time. Size wise, the dress fits a little bit big in the waist area. It doesn't really cinch in the way that I would like it to. So it's an easy fix. I just put on one of my black wide belts and it just accents the dress so nicely and it really adds to the look. So it's really not the end of the world if the waist doesn't truly fit as nicely as you'd like. If you have a belt that's wider, I would say it will look great over this dress. Even if you had like a red belt, um, I think that would also be such um, a fun choice for this. I definitely feel very, very chic in this look. This piece I think is such a quintessential wardrobe staple and it is this uh, boat neck striped three quarter length shirt. I have been searching for a shirt like this for a while now, just one that's well made but not expensive. And to find one at Walmart is just, it's wild y'all, but I am a fan. So this is from Free Assembly and I did get this in an extra small, which I have to say, I, I read the reviews of this shirt and so many people that reviewed it were talking about how big it is. Like they were like, I ordered my normal size and I'm swimming in this shirt. So I went ahead and I ordered an extra small based on their reviews and I'm so glad that I did because I think it fits so perfectly. Like if I would have gotten a small, I would have definitely not been happy with the fit of this shirt. And I think it's so interesting because a lot of times I feel like free assembly pieces can tend to run a little bit on the small side. So for this shirt to run this big, I think is such a weird abnormality, but whatever. Um, but I think this is so pretty. So this is a white and very dark navy blue striped shirt. To me, it just screams like Parisian classic style. When I think of like a classic Parisian type outfit in the summertime, I immediately think of a shirt just like this paired with like some jeans or some straight leg cigarette style trousers with some flats. 
or maybe some slides. And I just think that is such a chic combo that you can never go wrong with. Um, it definitely has like a really fun nautical vibe. So when I styled this, I definitely went ahead and had some fun with that. I paired this quince blazer that I absolutely love with it. And I think it looks so chic if you want it to sort of dress up the look. Uh, but wearing it just with these little white Abercrombie trousers and some nice little slip on uh, sandals, I think is just such a chic summer outfit. It's really not that fussy at all, but the combination of these things is timeless and you just look so elegant and put together in a combination like this. So I think grabbing this shirt is such a good wardrobe staple. I know that I will be keeping this around for a long time and I'm so glad I finally found this because it just for whatever reason was really hard to find like specifically the boat neck neckline with the like three quarter length sleeves with the right like boxy but not too boxy fit but I found it I found it and it is so good the only thing I will say about this is the knit of it feels a little bit thicker so that I think lends itself well to it looking like a nicely made shirt but if it's really hot outside this might feel a little bit stuffy so just throwing that out there not a deal breaker but such a great quality shirt at an unbeatable price going for a little bit more of a sporty vibe uh picked up this cute little knit polo shirt from scoop in this very fun lime green color it's so eye-catching i know neon colors are not for everyone but i personally do not shy away from a bright color uh, from time to time i think it is really fun to kind of throw them in the mix so this is such a great little polo shirt the perfect way to get in on the huge trend this year of polo shirts y'all this is going to be one of the big trends of 2024, I feel like. And I love this polo because for me, sometimes polos make me think of like PE when I was in high school or something like that. Like they're not the most chic in my mind, but I love this one because it's kind of low profile. The collar is very small. Um, it's got this nice little V neckline and then it has more delicate like cap sleeves rather than like the full on sleeve of a traditional polo shirt. I also really love that the knit of it is nice and thin. So, you know, it's gonna be perfect for spring going into summer. It's not too hot. Um, it's very, very lightweight. Um, and I just think it's a very feminine take on a polo shirt. So if you're not really like sold on them, I think this is a great way to get into it. I got this in a small and it fits so well. It does come in some other uh, more neutral colors if you're not super into the bright lime green, but this is a way for people to definitely notice you when you walk in the room. Another really fun neon piece is this little uh, hands-free bum bag, cross, bag, cross body bag, whatever you wanna call it, from No Boundaries. This was so inexpensive. I think it was like under $15. I forget how much it was, but it's just this little fun nylon bag with an adjustable strap. And these are great because they're meant to be sort of worn like short like this, sort of like when people wear like fanny packs, but they wear them across the body like this. These kind of bags have sprung up in response to people doing that as more of like a bag that's made for that situation. So it's fun because all of your stuff is like right here, right where you can reach it. Um, you can be hands-free when you're out and about, which is always a plus. Um, and it's just got a fun, sporty vibe. I think this would be a really cute bag to have for like running errands or just running around getting things done. Um, it just has the right amount of space for your keys, your phone, a wallet, some other things, sunglasses. So it's not so big, but it's big enough that it can fit a good amount of your daily essentials. Next outfit from Free Assembly, I think it's just so fun and funky for spring while still like kind of incorporating classic staple pieces. So let's start with this shirt. I saw this and it caught my eye because obviously it's an Oxford button up collar shirt, but you've got like the white like collar and button panel. Then you've got the blue and white stripes uh, on the sides of the torso. And then the sleeves are olive green. And then you've got the cuffs, which are white. It's just, it's so fun. It's so different. It looks like somebody took you know, pieces from different shirts and kind of like sew them into one shirt. It really doesn't look like something that you get from Walmart because it's so interesting, right? Um, so I got this in a small. It definitely fits on the baggier side, a little bit more oversized. So just keep that in mind if you want a more slim fit. I would probably recommend you should size down a size. It feels really nice and the fabric feels great on. It's just like a nice like starchy structured cotton um, that I feel like you could wear this so many different ways. And I know this is not going to be for everybody. It is very different, but um, you know, sometimes it's fun to take a little fashion risk and wear something that's a little bit outside the box. Moving on to the skirt. I, there's so much like utility olive green in this haul. It must be something that I'm just craving lately, but this skirt I felt like was also just a really cute piece and very similar vibe to the shorts. So if you're not really into shorts, but you still want like a cute spring, summer bottom that has that same aesthetic, this skirt is so cute. Now, this is definitely true to size. I went up to a size eight. Normally I'm a size six, but like I mentioned earlier, sometimes true or free assembly can run a little small. And with a skirt like this, that's sort of like up and down straight like this, 
sometimes they can be a little bit tight on my booty and my hips. So I sized up just to make sure that I would have plenty of room and I wouldn't feel restricted, but it does feel like it's a little bit too baggy. So the waist is very loose and on the sides, it definitely has a lot of room. So I think it would have been better to just get my normal size six, but it's not the worst, like it's not the end of the world because again, it has a little belt that comes with it. So you can kind of cinch it to your waist to make it fit. And maybe that is the better way for me to go because perhaps the six would feel a little bit tight on my hips. So totally up to you, but just know if you're like me and you kind of like to size up in skirts like this, you totally can. You can still make it look good by tightening up the belt a little bit. I'm wearing it with this super fun little hat that's from Time and True. Bucket hats, I think, are still going strong. Trend has been going on for several years now. So if you want to get into it, I feel like this is a little bit of a better entry point to a bucket hat because it's straw. It kind of looks like a cute little sun hat. And I like the brim. It comes out enough Sometimes bucket hats, they like have like the tiniest little brim or it's like way too long. And I think this one is just the right size to like give you a little bit of shade because it is a sun hat after all. It is nice and like flexible. So you could totally take this with you on vacation, put it in your suitcase and it would be okay to pack in there and not get misshapen. Love it. I think it's so cute. It has a little bit of stretch to it. I have a very big head and this fits me perfectly. Um, I don't know. Do you think I can pull off a bucket hat? I'm always wondering. I have a couple bucket hats and I never end up wearing them because I just feel like a little on the fence about how I look in them. It's a dated trend that is definitely back for quite a while. Now, speaking of dated trends, I have a video up that is all about dated fashion trends that are back in style. I know. You might want to watch it. I'll put that right here. It's a lot of fun. Go ahead and click on that to go there next. If you're not already subscribed, please, please subscribe to this channel. I'll give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or found it entertaining. Um, I'll see you guys over there. And if not, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.